Okay, guys, for today's game, I mean, I was pretty proud of that one. You're going to see by 21 minutes, I'm involved on almost every single objective. Just not only the first Drake, which you cannot impact anyway as top laner, but we're there for the six scrubs, the Herald, the two following Drakes, T1, Nash, and you're going to see it's so important that we are going to play for objectives in this game. So watch closely and listen to whatever I say whenever an objective is going to come up. See the different tricks that they use to actually prepare for them and have an impact sometimes by being there and sometimes by being somewhere else. Also, it's a poppy matchup and it's pretty tough, but you can make your way through it. Enjoy the video. Let's show. <laughs> Okay, so we're facing Poppy. Let's see. Let's start with bot lane. MF Ash. Meh. Doesn't look like an insane bot lane. I think MF is more happy to have some like engage in support. And I feel like Ash is more happy to have like some consistent damage slash poke. To Jinx Ilian. We have insane scaling here. Can this scaling be punished by their bot lane? Well, with Cleanse here and Exo Nah, I don't think so. I think my bot lane is chilling. Also, Graves is not the best ganker uh, against them. And Briar can look to gank uh, MF Ash because MF Ash has uh, zero mobility. Like, it's actually a very easy bot lane to kill for me. So even if they get fed, well, TF, Briar, me, like we can get on top of them pretty easily. Uh, TF has to go AP because Zillian is only AP. Oh, we have Grasp on Zillian. Is it a tech or did he miss something? I guess he missed. Yeah. I guess he failed runes. I don't see any word where this would be a decent tech. Uh, TF into Karma, two really OP champions. Um, well, I'm concerned about the laning phase because, well, Karma is Karma, you know, like one of the best laners in, in, in the game. Uh, and she has Ignite and she has Airy, but the good thing is TF can impact the map way more than her. And so we have Briar Global, we have TF Global, we have Jinx Global. So that's a good thing to be able to make plays. And Graves into Briar. Well, the pure 1v1, I'm not sure how it works. If they meet each other, probably that because Graves has ghost, he can um, actually run Briar down. And also, she's AD damage. Uh, but I'm not too scared about his gank potential. Uh, I believe like Briar has way more gank pressure than a Graves. And I'm facing Poppy, so later on it's going to be really tough, really painful to face. But early on, there's actually good things that you can do into Poppy. Hello, Turkish. So, yeah, I will try to abuse early levels. And later on, of course, like, she's going to uh, scale up. So the idea is that Poppy wants to teamfight. She's there on the front lane. Um, so maybe I will consider playing for grubs and just playing for the split. Just playing to split push, otherwise, yeah, basically, like, I, I want to take her away from teamfights, and if she's on teamfights, I want to, either I go on teamfights and I just focus on their bot lane, because as I said, like, they have zero mobility, or, um, or I just, I just push side lane. Okay, let's wait for her to use passive. I put it in the shield. Um, I'm getting level 2 now. Yeah. Level timers. Okay. Taking some pretty good chunks of damage. Mef Ash is worth a 6 bot lane. Bro, like. <laughs> Like legit silver, you're the encyclopedia. I don't know if it's an English term as well. The famous MF sub countering Zara. Yeah, yeah. So I remember, like, yeah. If 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 it was Ash ADC. And and MF support maxing E. Like it would make sense because because it would be like insane poke and. And like would be like very oppressive in lane and you cannot take the prior into that. Because it's MFAD carry, I'm not as concerned. But it does make sense. Like, the combo is good if MF maxes E basically. Cool. 
Okay, let's not give her an E this time. Uh, maybe we can look with Briar. This is insane that we get first blood. Wait, what was that? What just happened here? Oh, it, it was uh, Ash E. I guess it was Ash E. Okay, well, she got the crash. I'm actually way ahead in CS. I took some bad trades though. Ah, so close on this, yes. Not the best, not the best CSing here. Well, she based, so she's gonna come back with items, but if I manage to, well, just like, crash the wave and take my base as well, I will just have a better base than her. Overall, it's gonna be winning. Uh, Briar made fun to play grubs, so I really need to crash this wave so I can come back in time. Also, like you, you want to think um, waves prior, prior, not prior. Uh, what I'm thinking right now is that, okay, the next wave is not a cannon wave. So if Poppy manages to crash it, well, it's going to be bad. Like I'm not going to have prior for uh, grubs. But if Poppy doesn't manage to crash it, well, the following one is going to be a cannon wave. So it means that right now I have virtually a lot of time in order to move and play grubs because this wave is actually bouncing back to me this wave is a cannon wave so i have a ton of time right here on my hands so i can afford to go straight to grubs and if poppy moves either like we play the fight or we just cancel and she's gonna be losing golden experience by default that was the whole plan regarding the crash but if I waited one more wave for the crash, like, the whole tempo would be messed up. So yeah, Poppy was forced to be top. Oh, that's a long message, by the way, on performance. Okay, maybe I need to shorten that. But uh, but yeah, it's pretty important because... like After this game, for example, I'm going to go away for just like five minutes. And I know it's not what streamers usually do. But being challenger matters more than being a streamer for me. Pro term. It's time. I've been chasing this shadow for too long. I've been way too close. Two times now. Okay. Maybe I can get her ult. Well, not the best execution. Ah, uh, come on, CS, get under turret. Okay, nice. Okay, well, I was like, I was just starting a trade, and then. What can I say? Like, uh. Didn't use her passive on me. I went in between spells. I hit my W so I could run her down. And then it was kinda on the spot I was assessing like how it was going. And well if I have flash ghost ult, I can finish that play. My idea was just to get her ult actually. Like I, I was not planning on killing her. But I guess she played that the way she did. <laughs> Hello Captain Cook. Now we're streaming, and we've been streaming on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, now we're streaming tomorrow and Friday. Now we're completely back. I just had my internet being fixed uh, last weekend. And now we're back to streaming. Well, she's going to take, I mean, of course she's going to take aggro. But the thing is, because she has by my cinder, I can make her take aggro whenever she pushes the wave under my turret. So these plates are going to be actually pretty safe. Like the execution on the dive. Well, could her flash E, like, could it have worked? I guess, I guess the best that could happen if she played that really well is that we trade can and still, it's still winning. So I guess it's fine. But legit, like, I was just waiting for her ultimate and then I was gonna stop the play. Okay, well, I have plenty of damage now. Not 
passive, no Q. Yeah, something that I'm doing uh, kind of like not consciously. Yeah, but if you don't hit it, okay, well, I guess she's still at W, but... Hmm, can I fight this? I don't think I need to risk it. I don't know about Gravesums. I don't have main, and well, I guess she's just sharing XP, and the wave is not even really fixed. Now, I'm checking bushes with W actually. And if they use that to get uh, Poppy a base, I'm actually going for a demolish proc. So I'm tw like not 20, I'm like 16, 17 CS up, two plates up on one. Yeah, she got the gold from that. We got grubs. Oh, actually, now that they say that we got grubs, I just realized that the other grubs are spawning. So, let me just get prior real quick. I mean, this is gonna be good enough. Check for Gray. Okay, we see Gray spot. Six grubs. I said it. One way to win against Poppy will be just like whenever she's going in team fights because she wants to go in team fights, right? Or whenever she does that, I just I just split push with grubs. Okay, I have Kraken in base, but I don't have a good base tamer now. So that's my next goal. My next goal is finding a base tamer. She gonna freeze this. She's not. Well, not the best one, but it's one. Oh shit. Oh, she's dead. But we managed to make a play bot, which is really good. Nice. Okay, good job, team. This is very worth it. Uh, just. Oh, well, don't stay too long. I mean, we have six grubs though. But yeah, Jeff needs to be soon. Okay, well, I have Kraken now, and Poppy doesn't have much. Yeah, I know that, that Graze is around top, so I'm not gonna commit too hard. Yeah. I could kill the Graze, but is it worth all my investment? Might be. Okay, I see him mid now. I'm just choosing my Reckon Prox. I, 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 maybe if, like was I in range? If I if I flash at the very last moment, I think I think I would get her without having to ghost. But then I knew that I would still get my auto during her auto animation, so we get T1 here. Still pretty good. Also, I don't have tier two boots, so I was not running faster than her. Now tier two boots are gonna help. What am I building next? Probably not worried. The, like the most polyvalent second item. Good versus melees. Good versus squishies. Okay. Karma is trolling that. Yeah, I'm considering roaming because like Poppy is not a champion that will make big use of uh, a lot of gold.
Ok. Well, we get Poppy's TP. And MF Flash. We have TF ult. You can base. Yeah, we can swap. We can swap and she plays for Rift. Okay, we'll make him understand that that's the play now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, Jeff going back mid. Oh, they're not gonna kill here. I mean, just play, just play the heralds. I'm happy with what Brayer is doing. She can ult now the Brayer. Yeah, she's going for it. This this is enough to defend turrets, I believe. It would take a lot of time for me to roam and they might uh, respect it. But if I go bot, I know that I can get a ton of gold. We have six grubs. This is 1k. Notice how I'm making sure that she doesn't have an E poppy. Like the way she's posturing, or I'm posturing. She cannot E me. Let's go with do Drake. So see how all my plays are connected to an objective? First it was regarding Drake, uh, regarding Herald. Now, with that winning play, we can look for Drake. I don't want to greed anything here. Like this time, there's no objective to get. But I'm still thinking about the 1k gold from tier 2 bot. But yeah, logically, they're gonna defend it, so might as well take that. Now I'm thinking about my spikes. 600 for Navori, and there's no objective for 4 minutes. So there's no point in like staying or doing anything too crazy. Yeah, I'm just paying him that the play is not to go on Poppy in case he wanted to do that. But maybe if she walks up, but like here we had vision on no one. Okay, managed to base. Nice. Uh, guess I can let it to Jinx. Okay, well, one more wave. I am your worst nightmare. One more wave should do the work. Might need a bit more though. Don't really want to sell my item. Let's check for pink quartz. Hmm, I guess one more wave then. I take one and B. be a slot. Me. Nope. I don't like that play that they're doing. I don't see what's gonna happen from that. Shit. I have to go back for our home guard. Oh, you're, not, you're not kidding Poppy and their team is collapsing. I mean at least Ash is and now MF could be... Yeah, no shit that play was bad. Oh, they're committing pretty hard though. Got 
I should have used E instead on Ash. I wouldn't have to flash for that. Should have burst. Uh, like my idea with keeping my E is that I have no idea about her sums, and if she has flash, well, this way I have E to follow her flash. So I guess it was still fine as long as the ID was right. Not gonna use my demolish. Maybe I'm gonna be in a position to get another turret soon, like very soon. Okay. Play for this. Well, it actually, he's playing Warmox. He's playing like full. Uh, how do you say? Liter. I don't know. Uh, I should have thought about my items. Armor pen is not going to be bad. This guy has stab base plus armor built in his kit. Poppy is poppy. It's funny how Zillion can bait them. Because they think that he's squishy. If you kill the graves here, it's insane because then it means Nash. Even if we don't kill him, he's out. And I don't think they have any vision here. We didn't smite, we didn't have smite, we didn't have smite. Should I have checked? No, 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 no. This, 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 this. Break, 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 break. We all went up for one HP karma. I guess she's still not coming. Okay, maybe I look to sneak it. So notice how so far I've played for every single grubs. I made the play and the call that got us Herald. I got us first Drake and second Drake. That's that's how you should be playing from mid to late. See, and also made the call that got us to Nash. I'm on every single objective so far. Uh, don't think we want to keep this play going. Maybe we will. Like for me, what I'm thinking right now is that we didn't base for such a long time. I have a lot of gold, but I think it's the same for my team. Um, so I feel like we should have taken our base before trying to utilize Nash to make a push. Now, if TF is pushing and my bot lane is pushing, well, then my best play becomes pushing as well. But let's not do too much. Let's not do too much. Let's go with this. I don't have like much healing on the champions that I'm actually gonna hit. Uh, let's get all in hips. Like for me, the best play right now. We get all in hips. We empty the jungle. We go base. We take uh, Nash. We don't need Drake because we're gonna end before Soul anyway. And then we do a final push with triple enem. By the time we we'll have to take top enem again, but I mean it doesn't doesn't matter. So I took red buff, so everyone has it. Now it's not the time to take camps because my team is already in a position to pressure. I do pretty big damage. 
I do pretty big damage to that guy. I guess my team based now. Not sure why. Yeah, yeah, they should all go out actually. Rare uh, players, they still didn't understand that when enemy team is gonna hear the sound, like they're gonna walk back. So they need to anticipate this. Okay, good old base yield. Figured we were so big we could just go in, you know. Nice, really clean one. Really clean one. Utility, exactly. Ayo ya, ayo ya. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Well, I think this game was like really good. I I made only like smart, thoughtful plays. The only bad play that I made was a really bad trade that I took on the bounce back on level three. That's my worst play, most likely. And I took it because I read chat, so that's why you have the little uh, performance uh, comment. Uh, anyway, uh, let me write that down here. Up, oh, where zero six zero three take game one stream objectives. Okay, well, as I said in the comments that you can type. Uh, <laughs>